Hello, hello. We're back, as is usual, for some more Xenosaga, episode three. Hope you're all doing wonderful. Um, we last left off right after the little testing demonstration. The exercise area will be temporarily closed. Prepare for the retrieval of Omega Res Novae. All personnel involved should head to the basement hangar. Oh my goodness. Enough about the exercise area. The basement hangar. That's where we're going. Don't you worry about it. We'll get out of here. Just let us be. Wait. This is a VX7000. It's because of the Gnosis terrorism. Since we don't know when or where they'll attack, the top brass is leaving nothing to chance. I see. Vector's participating too, so I guess it's only natural. Does it bring back memories? Well, yeah. All phases of the performance program are now... All phases of the performance program are now over. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. What are these things? Hang on, I'm gonna go look around down there. Um. All phases of the performance program are now over. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. Press the switch. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what the heck? Why <laughs> can I open that? All phases of the performance program are now over. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. Stepped up their sound design a lot too. I'm guessing we're coming back All to this place in the future. Yes, yes, into the conference room. All phases of the performance program are now over. Supervisors for each Wait, what'd she are say? requested in the conference room. The elevator down, you can go to Vector's laboratory. This one? Ah, uh, lock. Quite read what that said, unfortunately. Chief! Welcome back, Chief. I'm glad everyone is looking well. Too bad about what happened down there. Well, considering what she was fighting, I think she did a pretty good job. Yes, you're right. By the way, could you stop calling me Chief? I don't work here anymore. No matter where you go or what you become, you're still our dear chief. Rude. Right, Chief Ridgely? Huh? Oh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Where's Cosmos? She got beat up pretty badly, so she's undergoing maintenance. Cosmos. You're still doing your best. But what am I doing? What would you think of me if you saw me now? What, stealing data from Vector? Chief. Hmm? I guess you're concerned about Cosmos. Oh, it's not that. I... After seeing Cosmos and everyone, I just feel like you've all left me behind. That's all. Chief. I'm sorry, I think I'll be going. Thanks for everything today. Chief, um, tomorrow. Hmm? 
Tomorrow, uh, would you like to go out for a bite in the city? Finally asked her out to do something. I found this great restaurant the other day and... Sure, sounds good. Yeah, I figured you'd be busy. And maybe next... I said sure. Uh... R really? Yeah, when would be a good time? I'm free all day. Ah, uh, um, okay. Let's meet in the hotel lobby at 7 p.m. I'll come get you. Okay, I'll be waiting. 7 p.m. Thank you. See you there. That's way too late to Good eat, night. my dude. Excuse me. Is this the Cosmos maintenance room? It's smaller scale than I expected. Special Advisor Roth Mantell? Why are you here? Did you come to gloat to the losers? Calm down, Tagashi. I apologize. What can we do for you? Oh, that's quite all right. What he said isn't exactly wrong. Excuse me? I mean, I came here to finish off the losers. I need you to gather your things together at once. Wait a minute! What about Cosmos's repairs? There's no need. Cosmos will never awaken again. What are you talking? This will explain it. What? Decision to dispose of Cosmos? What the hell is this? It's exactly what it says. The subcommittee voted on the decision a short while ago. There is no need for us to waste our resources. So we're pouring it all into Telos's development. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid she's going to be scrapped. I can't believe it. How could they scrap Cosmos? Yeah, she only saved the world like twice. Well. One of the worlds. Let's go back to the hotel. Hmm. Actually, before I forget, we should go ask that dude about the password. For the... What was it again? Kind of eggs or something <laughs> in the cafe. God, I'm glad I don't have to hear that voice anymore, though. See, would have been south, I think. And then, where's the park? Pretty sure he was in like the corner of the park over there. There's the convenience store. And the park's over this way. He actually gives us the password now. <laughs> oh no. Where did he go? There's all new people here. Need the pat. There he is. I heard there's a way to revisit places you've been before in the past. Supposedly, you have to touch a green plate-shaped object, but I've never seen anything like that. Oh, hey. Cafe stream's secret menu. I remembered the password. Password is... 
double whammy. Hope you find it useful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Or if the secret menu is like an item for us or something. Maybe another one of those files that we got earlier or something. Only one way to find out. <laughs> they said it was like some extinct animal or bird. Um, first Jerusalem. Then the cafe. All the way back here. <clears throat> Alright, my voice is kind of giving out a little bit. Been talking too much this past week. I think I've recorded like 20 hours of video in the past four days. <laughs> uh. Welcome to Cafe Stream. I know your password now. Yes, I am. Oh, you know the password? Double whammy. Wow, got it. All right, I'll add the Carnelian egg cuisine to the normal menu. Oh, it literally is just eggs. What's the point of that? Um, I think Carnelian egg cuisine is really popular. I know it'd be like this. I've suggested to the manager to add it to our menu earlier. Ah, uh, heck. Oh wait, wasn't there an old man over there that wanted the eggs? We should go talk to him again. Hey, you're still here. <gasps> hey, what? Oh, he said it too. After I finally got access to that legendary menu. Can't believe this, my poor... Dude. After some nice guy went to the trouble of revealing the secret menu. Huh? Oh my god. I blew up his mood. I feel like I just deleted a quest. I didn't realize I could do that. Can I go out and come back in? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, no, no. Didn't mean to. Didn't realize I'd blow up his food. That's nefarious. Why? Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Just like I thought, their secret menu is Carnelian Egg Cuisine. Well, time to dig in. Hmm? Are you the one that cracked the secret menu? Here, take this as a token of my thanks. Honey, Teddy. Uh, wait, did we get another armor for Shion? Wait, what was this? Oh, the story so far. Okay, okay, okay. Equipment. No, it's not for Shion. Huh. I'm guessing it's for one of the other girls, though, since it's named really similarly to how Shion's is. Anyways, let's go back to the hotel. This is not the right way. to our ritzy hotel. Man, wouldn't it be cool though to just go inside such a interesting elevator and then just have a giant room like that on the seventh floor? I've stayed in some pretty nice places before in my life, but <laughs> nothing like that. It's basically an apartment. So, this is the footage from the T-Weapon demonstration? You've got guts recording secret government information right out in the open. I bet you could earn a pretty penny if you became a GNN reporter. Stop joking and take a look at it. 
Do you think you can extract any data from this footage? Not right away. I'll need some time. Please try. This T-weapon and an unknown developer are the core of the government's project. I'm sure we can find all sorts of things once we start poking around. So, you think Vector is involved in this as well? But they cancelled Cosmos's development, right? Aren't they being a little roundabout? True. But the way Talos looks, I can't believe Vector isn't involved. Something we know nothing about is happening quickly. All right. Leave it to us. Also, there was something interesting in the data from the other day. Is it information about my father? No, we haven't found that yet. But we did find a keyword. Canaan. Canaan? You mean that Canaan? No, not the Realian. We think it's the name of some program or system used for observation or investigation. Canaan? We don't have the details on its objective, but one thing is clear. Vector has been using this Canaan for over 100 years to search something. Can you find out some more about it? We can, but it'll cost extra. What? You're going to charge for it? <laughs> Just kidding. It may have something to do with that realian, so it's on the house. <gasps> Nephilim, what is it? Trying to protect someone does not always lead to happiness. True. Very true. Very wise, Nephilim. Give one quick second. I just need to get down real fast. What? Grimoire only wanted to find me, but that made a great many people suffer. With him gone, the Gnosis phenomenon should have stopped expanding, but it didn't. Xion, the Gnosis phenomenon happening now, is not caused by Lemageton. A certain being is leading this universe to destruction. Destroy the universe? Who would do that? A sad individual who continues to exist for his own atonement. He hopes for happiness of the one important to him, but that will bring suffering to many. Atonement? Important to him? Yes, for that person who is important to him. He feels it is acceptable to throw away this world. Xion. The only one who knows where we are headed is Cosmos. The only one who can open Cosmos's heart is you. So please. Wait. Nephilim. Cosmos's heart. Interesting. I knew I wouldn't be able to tell her. I know. The truth is too hard for Xion right now. If she let it pass without knowing, it would be so much easier. Learning the truth doesn't always lead to happiness. They might even be better off if they live without it. But sometimes, the truth seeks you out. I think the fact that Xion is here is telling us that. She must learn the truth. Maybe so. But it's only a matter of time before Xion's heart and body are... What if that's inevitable? My existence and yours may be an inevitable part of this world where all things flow to a certain point. If our reason for existing is that we are meant to exist... I don't think there's only a single future. A single human thought can change the world. You're the one who taught people that. What I can do is limited. I still don't even know how I should use this power. Why am I allowed to exist? Chaos. I want to believe in the existence of order born from discord. That's why I'm with them. There's nothing suspicious in the data concerning this man called Roth Mantell. I checked Vector as well to be sure. But there was no information on him at all. I'm sure Dimitri's done that as well. But why has he placed him at the core of the project now? Perhaps that's just how attractive the T-weapon system is. It's also possible he wanted to eliminate Vector's influence. Yes, but I bet there's more to it than just that. 
I also have information regarding the Elsa. In order to break through that hypersphere, we will need output on the level of the phase transfer cannon equipped on Omega. That's not going to happen. We can't use it considering how unstable its systems are. And besides, Dimitri would never authorize it. Then breaking through that hypersphere is impossible with current Federation technology. You mean we'll have to give up on rescuing the Elsa? No. I just said it can't be done with Federation technology. According to my database, there is another weapon capable of breaking through it. Another weapon? Cosmos's tertiary weapon system. She is capable of the same output as an ES, so she may be able to break through. Cosmos is already slated for disposal, so it's just as unlikely as your first suggestion. Is your situational analysis capability defective? How are we supposed to equip her with her tertiary weapon system? And send her to that region of space? With all due respect, you are the one who was unable to analyze the situation, Dr. Mizrahi. That freighter infiltrated a region of space under martial law for an illegal expedition. Officially, it doesn't even exist. If you want to rescue something that doesn't exist, you'll have to take a certain amount of risk. You mean...? Yes. Cosmos has already been thrown out. That doesn't mean we can't reuse her. You certainly don't think small, do you? I was designed specifically for such objectives. Okay, we're gonna rescue Cosmos. Thank goodness. What did you say? I said to abandon it. Did you not hear my words? Pardon my words, but Omega was originally ours. How can we abandon it? Your Eminence, please order its recovery. There is no need. Then please, tell me why. I did not understand our retreat at Ren le Chateau. And now this. Yeah. A little strange. I, I think Margulis is uh, going to start losing um, faith in his <laughs> religion, shall we say. Please, tell me your thoughts, Your Eminence. Omega has returned to its rightful master. And I have already taken measures to deal with the Zohar project. There is no need for you to interject, Chief Inquisitor. Its rightful master? Are you saying that it did not belong to us? That's the first I've heard of it. In fact, 15 years ago on Milsha, I... Know your place, Smargulus. Do you intend to let your desire overcome you and destroy your faith like Sergius? N no of course not, Your Eminence. My apologies. You sound tired, Margulis. Rest for a while. You are dismissed. Yes, Your Eminence. Margulis, everything is God's will. There is no need for concern. Do not question. Do as I say, and all will be well. All preparations are complete. Good. This spiral cobweb will capture her heart. And when it does, she will willingly wrap its threads around herself in order to find the truth. Why do humans insist on searching? The human mind holds limitless potential. If they continue to seek and search, they shall eventually become gods. That's probably what they believe. What we can do is limited. For precisely that reason, we need a world that is fitting for us. And we are the only ones who can accomplish that. Dreams, future, possibilities. She was born to put an end to these fleeting illusions. Everything follows the destined flow. I have no idea what they're talking about, <laughs> but I hope it's explained. How am I supposed to explain this to the Chief? There's no way I can tell her that Cosmos has been slated for disposal. It's dangerous to get lost in thought while walking. What? Oh, uh, Committee Member Mizrahi. Can I do something for you? 
Could I speak to you for a moment, Chief Ridgely? Certainly. Sure. What is it? I want you to get in touch with Xion soon. Do you know her personal contact information? Sure, that's no problem. But what's going on? They've decided to dispose of Cosmos, correct? I need to speak to her about that. I'd like you to come along as well, of course. Oh, that's right. Of course you'd know about that. Actually, I was just trying to figure out how I'm gonna tell her about Cosmos. Relax. I won't let them dispose of Cosmos. That's what we're going to talk about. Huh? I watched that footage. Certainly astonishing. So, did you find out anything? We did some research on Telos, but we found no relevant information in any database. Everything from its official project proposal to the budget is a complete blank. What about his supporters? Did he erase everything about him in order to preserve secrecy? No. No records ever existed in the first place. How is that possible? It's being used by the military. Beats me, but that's the truth. But you know, if he's clean on the surface, he's probably dirty as hell deep down. Hey, is it possible to transfer Cosmos directly through the UMN? No. All advanced AI devices, including Cosmos, need a UMN tube for transport. Basically, they have to go through the hyperspace or it will damage their functions. In other words, some sort of ship is necessary when moving one. Why do you ask? Well, about a week ago, a Dominic transport ship affiliated with the Hyams Company docked at 5th Jerusalem's 47th port. When I checked its cargo records, I found something interesting. At the time of docking, the port's mass detectors recorded a total mass of 3,751 tons. But at the time it left port, it was 3,750.79 tons. The Dominic has a regular crew of three. This weight difference wasn't caused by people. In other words, these records show that something must have been taken off the ship. Normally, any cargo unloaded into the container terminal, even if it's a government secret, has some sort of record registered. But this time... There was no record. Right. What's the mass of the bare minimum equipment required to maintain Cosmos? Hmm, it depends on the type of frame she's using, but probably around 200 kilograms. Oh. That may be the missing piece, assuming it wasn't constructed on 5th Jerusalem. Then Ormus is involved in Telos's development? But why would they do that? Who knows, but it's disturbingly obvious. They may be deliberately drawing attention to it to cover up something else. What's up? Hey, you guys already started! You could have invited me, you know. You haven't missed a thing. By the way, have you already taken care of what I asked for? You betcha! Xion, we pretty much finished researching your father. There are some things in life one is better off not knowing. Do you still want to know? Of course she wants to know. Yes, I have to know the truth. This record is in regards to the UTIC organization 15 years ago. The Federal Advanced Technology Special Inspection Bureau. That's the name of the government office that was observing UTIC at the time. Yes. The person who was appointed to Milsha as the Federation government's inspector was... Uh... I was right, wasn't I? Yes. It's just like you said. Dad was the UTIC organization inspector. He must have had some kind of contact with Professor Mizrahi. Shion. But that doesn't mean he conspired with Professor Mizrahi and summoned the Gnosis. This sort of thing happens all the time, you know? An incompetent government bureaucrat fails to stop a crisis and it turns into a catastrophe. What? What kind of example is that? It, uh, I mean... It's okay, don't worry about <laughs> I it. I love you, Miyuki. <laughs> I suspected it all along. Even if he was just an incompetent bureaucrat, like you said, he's still guilty of standing by and letting something like that happen. <sighs> I finally know why Jin doesn't like the idea of me getting involved as well. I feel better now that I don't have to wonder anymore. Xion. That's right. I suspected it all along. That's why I... Oh, it's from Alan. I'll take it over here. Ooh. Sh Xion! Xion! Hello. Sh Chief, what's wrong? Xion! Chief, are you all right? Chief! 
What's wrong with her? Is she getting like Udu? Alan, are you all right, Chief? You scared me. You collapsed right as the connection went through. You came to check on me? Well, I was the closest. I see. Of course, even if we were a million light years apart, I'd still be here in a flash. <laughs> there you go. Turn on the riz. Want something to drink? I had an MC here a few minutes ago, but he said it was probably overexertion. You know what? Even if Alan is a simp and obnoxious and terribly indecisive, his feelings are very genuine, and I respect that. Have you been pushing yourself lately? Yeah, I'm sorry for worrying you. Wait, you need to stay in bed. I'm fine now. A lot happened today, I'm sure that's the reason. Chief, I, uh, have a message for you from committee member Mizrahi. From Yuli? Yes, she says she wants to talk to you, so she'd like to meet with you on the Durandal tomorrow. But if you're not feeling well, I'll ask her to postpone it. You worry too much. I'm fine now. Oh, but tomorrow we were... Ah, it's okay. Talking with member Mizrahi is much more important. Don't worry about canceling our plans. We don't have time to be going out to eat dinner. Alan, let's go out for a bit. What? Sure, if you like. That's fine with me. Heck yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, if Alan just had more confidence in, him, in himself, he'd probably be hmm, much more attractive. I think that's all he needs. He just needs a little more confidence. Well, maybe a lot more confidence, but... Feels good out here. I love the night air. Nice view. Yes, this area is under environmental protection, so there's a lot of trees and plants. <laughs> Why? I'm sorry about our dinner plans for tomorrow. I didn't mean to substitute it like this. Please don't worry about it. The location wasn't important to me. Anyway, this kind of atmosphere is much more valuable. Just tell her you're happy to be with her, stupid. Atmosphere? Oh. Nothing, just talking to myself. Ow, hot, hot! Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Kind of like he just like squirted out a packet of jelly or something everywhere. <laughs> it's all right. Didn't sound like liquid at all. It sounded like. We almost wasted a magnificent dinner. Magnificent? It's just prosciutto. Come on, a single thought can change the world. Even fast food can become an elegant dinner. Oh. Huh? I just had deja vu. Kevin used to like eating outside, too. Did you eat together with him a lot? Yeah. I was new, so he always treated me. Oh. Okay. Awkward. <clears throat> Honestly, you should encourage her to talk about Kevin. And they can, she can like you bond with him there? over that. Let all those feelings out once finally. And of course, she'd still have feelings for him. He, he died and was taken away without any kind of closure. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. I can't sneak up on you. What do you want? I'll cut to the chase. Who are you? I believe I gave you my personal data some time ago. I'm not interested in that painted over information. I want to know what you were originally made for. What are you talking about? Oh, are you going to pretend you don't know? Program Canaan, a surveillance program listed in the records of top secret vector data. It's programmed into your mind. Oh. Program Canaan? You're bluffing. 
That keyword doesn't exist in my database. She lied to Shion. Are you going to play dumb? What is it you're trying to hide so badly? Wait. Hold on. I really don't know. There really is a program with that name? So, they kept its functionality secret even from yourself. All right, I'll believe you. What's this? It's partial data on program Canaan we obtained from Vector. If you want to confirm its validity, you'll have to do it yourself. Oh, and one warning. Even if you weren't aware of the program's existence, it still affects your behavior. If you interfere with us, even if it isn't by your own will, we won't hesitate to eliminate you. Keep that in mind. Looks like it's about time. I better hurry to the spaceport. B. I know this sounds weird, but I kind of like the way that they kind of reduce the massive amount of non-interactive cutscenes. Just because sitting back and like watching the gameplay itself for like literally half the gameplay of the game is nice but sometimes you actually want to play and i know this is weird but pressing x through the dialogue keeps your hands and mind <laughs> engaged i guess i like that they give cutscenes for the really important stuff and then everything else is just in-game dialogue kind of like a visual novel i much prefer this kind of thing because at least you're interacting with the game in some way. Environments are so freaking cool. That's right, this is where we came down from. Here's the orbital elevator. Yes. Back to the space station. Outside. <laughs> Looks much better with the blending accuracy fixed. Um. Oh, there it is. I like your coat, Junior. Everyone looks so good. Looks like you're all doing good too. Shion. Jin? Jin looks weirdly younger. That's right, I completely forgot you were with them. Is that any way to greet the brother you haven't seen in a while? Like his face looks softer and smoother, I guess. Everyone else is already here. You know, you really should be a little more punctual. Yes, yes, everyone's here now, right? Let's get started. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Xion. 
Yuli and the others are waiting. This way! <laughs> Junior's voice is so cute when he's happy. Xion, have you heard about Cosmos? Cosmos? No. What's going on? Committee member Mizrahi. I'll tell her. Chief. They've decided to scrap Cosmos. Scrap? You can't be serious. I'm afraid it's true. They made the decision yesterday. Cosmos. I understand how you feel, but there's no time to get depressed. I want you to listen carefully to what I'm about to say, and then make a decision. Hmm? First, take a look at this. What is it? It's a hypersphere that appeared during a battle with Ormus. He also was swallowed by it. Right, and now this hypersphere is beginning to shrink. It'll likely continue to shrink to Planck scale size and then disappear from this dimension. What will happen to the Elsa? At this rate, it will be taken into phase space along with the hypersphere. If that happens, it'll be impossible for us to rescue them. If we don't break through this hypersphere, we can't rescue the Elsa. But weapons on the Durandal or ESs don't even make a dent. The surface of that hypersphere is connected to imaginary space. Ordinary attacks are useless against it. Its only weak spot is a part called the Klein Point. If we can pierce that point with a high output weapon and reverse the space, then perhaps... You've got to be kidding me! How the hell... Oh, Cosmos! Cosmos' space transfer unit! Exactly. Cosmos' tertiary weapon system may be able to break through that hypersphere. But Cosmos has been slated for scrap. How are we supposed to do this? Besides, there's no way we'll get permission to use the tertiary weapon system. Hmm. Yes, that's why I've gathered you all here. Cosmos is currently awaiting disposal inside the Zohar Project facility. You're planning to steal Cosmos? Heck yeah, we are. There's no other way to rescue the Elsa. I'll guide you during the infiltration. But it'll still be dangerous. It'll be up to you to decide. All right, I'll do it. I like how Yuli started off so like frosty and standoffish from basically everything. At least that's the way she was presented in regards to Momo. And now she's like literally hyper engaged with our group and about to help us heist Cosmos. I can't just abandon the Elsa's crew or Cosmos. Shion. Yeah, I guess if we do him a big favor now, we'll be able to make use of it later. Then it's settled. We don't know how long the hypersphere shrinking will last. We need to begin immediately. We move tonight. Tonight. Right. Let's get ready and. Oof. Act again. Chief, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Something really wrong is wrong. Like going on with her. Chief! Shion! Jin. You look tired. I'll take over now. Please, get some rest. No, I'm fine. I'm more interested in hearing the results of her examination. Even the medical staff here doesn't know what caused her collapse. They say it's probably exhaustion or something. She collapsed once at the hotel, too. She seems to have been busy lately, so maybe that's it. I see. Hopefully neither one of you believe that. That's the only reason. How are 
you feeling? Also, why isn't she on telling anyone about what's happening to her? I'm sorry for worrying you. Are you still working with Scantia? Yintia? Oh, you knew. Alan said you've been busy. I figured that might be it. Ever since you were little, you'd rush forward without stopping once you've set your mind on it. And never heeded my advice. You're quite correct. <laughs> well, it's all right, as long as you're healthy. Mmm. Herbal remedy? You could have just handed it to me, you know. Are you feeling all right? Yes, I just needed some rest. I feel great now. I envy you. Hmm? I think anyone would. You've been true to your beliefs after you resigned from Vector, after the Gnosis terrorism. I don't know. I mean, I'm not even really sure myself. And here I am, still doing the same thing I always have done. Not asking or thinking, whether what I am doing is right or wrong. Are you regretting your participation in the development of Omega? Maybe. It's a weapon with absolute power, and no clear objective. And yet, I'm participating in its development, so I can prove myself to society. To clear the shame from the name Mizrahi. Do you think Cosmos' very existence is dangerous too? Xion, Cosmos isn't a weapon. It's probably strange for a scientist to say this, but I have a feeling that Cosmos possesses something very important. Something important? Unlike the human-based Realians, Cosmos is composed entirely of machines. How much real difference do you think there is between the bundles of protein that make us and the machines that compose her? We're both a wave that make up this universe. The only difference is the number of ripples. I think if we have hearts and minds, then it's evident that she would have them as well. Do you think Cosmos possesses a heart? Isn't that what you wish? Maybe, but maybe not. I don't know what your thoughts and intentions were when you built her. But no matter what happens, I want you to believe in Cosmos. And more than anything else, you must believe the person who built her. Yourself. That's your duty as her creator. Yuli. Solid advice. Did Uli head back to the facility? Yes. She said she's going to get things ready for our infiltration. Okay, we should get started too! There's not much time. Stock up on anything you'll need. Let's meet in the lobby of Xion's hotel. <laughs> I don't know why, but you know in Auron High School Host Club, the little honey senpai guy? <laughs> for some reason in this episode, Junior makes me think of him. We won't look suspicious meeting in town, and it's close to the facility. Is that okay with you, Xion? Sure, that's fine. Okay, let's get moving! We're going to be heading into the Consolidated Advanced Technology Testing Ground again. Better check our equipment before we head there. It's a great idea. I'm guessing it's going to be a dungeon. Um, okay. Back to equipment place. Going the wrong way, but eh, here's. <laughs> Descend to fifth Jerusalem. Absolutely. Oh, everyone's with us except for Cosmos now. And... Oh, no, we don't. Uh... Well... Fine.
Do they all go back to the hotel then, maybe? Where is everyone? Or at least why aren't they in my party UI? Before we go to the Consolidated Advanced Tech, uh, Cat Ground, I have some information for you. What is it? It's not that I don't trust Miyuki, but you know what this place is like. It would give us an advantage in battle in case we still wind up having to fight. There are two ways to learn skills, automatically learned when leveling up, or learning by using the skill points acquired in battle. This menu lists the skills you can learn and the skill points necessary to learn them. Four skills are in a group. Higher skills in the same line can be learned once all four skills in the current group are learned. You can select either style A2 or style B2 in the first branch. Skills that can be learned in style A are different from style B. Characters' abilities will change depending on the style you've selected. Skill groups are added upon finding skill keys. Cultivate the character to your taste by acquiring extra skills. Okay. Well, that's about it got an idea. I'll give you my skill points, so go ahead and try them out. Also, I sent this explanation to your database, just in case you want to hear it again. Cool. Thanks, Alan. Um, what else do I have? We have some more skill upgrades. Let's see, so we have 61 skill points. Then for support and attacker. Oh. <laughs> hey, we can make Shion uh, an attacking character this time around. That's kind of cool. Increased speed of all allies. Um, over small amount of break damage, small fire attack, small beam attack. I definitely think we should take quick. That's just a duh. Um, and I guess I'll take beam. Either way, I have to learn all four of these before I can progress, but quick seems most OP of all those, so we're definitely going to take that one. That's looking like now. 33 either attack, 36 evasion because you got that giga thing. Um, wait, there's another question. Ah, Yuki should be helping out on, us out on site. I think it'd be best if we don't leave the hotel together, but cut down on drawing attention to us. Is that all right? Yeah, that's a smart idea. Let's wait for nightfall until the start of the mission. Okay, smart man. Everybody's got new clothes. Momo looks really freaking cute. I love her clothes. Everyone ready? Oh yeah. Listen, we're going up against an important facility of the Galaxy Federation military. Are you joining us, Helen? Attack intruders without stopping to ask questions. So stay on your toes. You're the one we're most worried about. Hey, I know that facility better than anyone else here. I know. I'm counting on you. Chief. Sorry to interrupt your tender moment, but we don't have much time. Let's get going. Tender moment? What tender moment? Xion! Over here! Come on, hurry! Xion, help! Hey, hey, not so loud. Do you want them to find us? Yes. So, is everything ready? Yep, all set. I tweaked the security, so you've got a free pass inside. I hope you didn't make any mistakes this time. Oh, come on, you can trust me. 
You're the one who told me not to do anything dangerous and then asked me to help you. There wasn't anyone else I could ask. What about Doctus? You could have asked Gientia. They're busy with something else. Besides, this is our own problem. I can't ask them to help with this. Aha! I knew it! You're only using me because there's no one else. <laughs> hey! Stop laughing! So, how do we get in? The main gate is sealed, isn't it? Don't worry. We can get in by using the monocarrier below. We'll also use the transporters within the facility. As for the route, first we'll head from deck number two to the exercise area. Past that is a transporter on deck number five. That'll take us to the research wing where Cosmos is. Right. Just leave the rest to me. I've got something up my sleeve just in case we get caught. And I'll even help fight against any guards you may happen to run into. <laughs> Your job is to make sure we don't get caught. Please don't screw this up, Miyuki. <laughs> Hey, I said stop laughing. Why are they all laughing at her? Little jerks. <laughs> all right, make sure we have. Okay, I don't want Miyuki in the party. I want my. We have Alan too. That's amazing. Um, so I have to go to formation. Only attackers. I want. Oh man. I want everyone in my party. <laughs> Let's try Ziggy Jr. and Momo. Oh yeah, we need to see who that belongs to. Compound. Wait, let me look at all their stuff. Last knuckle. Ooh, look at Ziggy's stats. His strength is like Giga now. Speed one vest. Compound six. He's definitely neither attacker, Jesus. Or to either attack. Tagic shirt. Ooh, she does get the honey teddy. Oh my god, look. It's like the same as Shion's. Super evasive. Boyan. Jin's another really strong attacker. Hmm. A lot more accurate than Ziggy, though. And slightly more agile. Yeah, Ziggy's pretty slow. Blood M9, leather jacket. Riba hand. Combat suit. Chaos as usual. Balanced attack with crappy defensive stats. What's your specialty? Very accurate, pretty fast, an attack. Oh, so we do have ESs. Oh, we have four now. <clears throat> Interesting. What about their skills? Two points twenty-one. Can be a blocker. Or breaker. Or various single and range break tech attacks. Or increase HP value and protect allies from harm. Cool. Hey. What about you, Momo? Spell attacker. It's a normal attacker. Um, we're definitely gonna keep you as a spell attacker. <laughs> Regular attacker or a counter. That'll be interesting. Oh, she has 41 skill points, but she can't learn any skills. <laughs> and physical and either attacks, or turn him into a support character. That's interesting. What about you? Breaker or spell attacker? HP absorption and cursed either skills. Hmm. We might make him into a spell attacker too. 
Is there a difference between attacks and throws versus gins? They are different. That's interesting. Each character kind of develops themselves differently. I guess you'd probably want to hyper specialize into one. This blue thing. Oh, it's a shop. Okay. Sell item. I don't want to sell any of our old recovery stuff, but we can get rid of our old gear. And what items do we have? <laughs> Auto macer. Some jacket, snake eye. Eh. Bunch of crap. Okay, I think we'll stop here for now and then take on this dungeon in the next one. I'll see you then.